northern Ghana, sheer butter making is big business, not least because it is the biggest employer for women here. These women work in Wulugu, more than 70 kilometers from the northern regional capital, Tamale. Alice Dawuni has been in this business all her life. Now, for her and the several women involved in this, finding the sheer nuts for their work is getting increasingly tough. These days, we can't even get the nuts to prepare the butter. Now we have to go deep into the villages to find the sheer nuts. The trees have all been cut down. The share tree takes time to mature and produce nuts, but because all of them are being cut for four weeks, we don't have the trees to produce the nuts. Deforestation has now reached alarming levels, especially in Ghana's savannah belt. The weather is no longer predictable due to climate change. That has had a toll on the number of share trees available. On paper, it's hard to connect the dots on how climate change or a lost vegetation contributes to poverty. But think about it this way. These nuts are the main raw materials for an industry that employs an estimated 6 million people, mainly women, in this part of Ghana alone. Now, these women are the economic backbones of their household. If they are out of work, it means they don't have enough to put their children through school. They don't even have enough to buy food for the household. Now that means a malnourished and uneducated population. These two are the biggest ingredients that fuels the poverty cycle. Dr. Ali Yidana has spent several years studying the trend. Why should we be worried? This year is uh, uh, one of the crops which is harvested early enough to sell and buy food during that, you know, this annual hunger gap. By April, most families have exhausted their year's uh, produce. Many rural women actually pick here to feed the family. And if this is eroded, the hunger will increase. Rabiatu Abubakari works with more than 600 women just outside Tamale who produce shea and buys them off for export. When you go to Bolga Road, it, was, it is more than 10 acres land. They take off all the Shiena tree and plant the mango tree. I saw it in my eyes. Northern Ghana already accounts for some of the country's poorest, with at least 1.3 million of the most vulnerable living in this region alone. More than half of that figure are women. So anything that threatens the already existing economic activity here could only worsen the situation. Justice Beidou, Joy News, Tamale.